Hello, this is Warlord, and welcome to part two of creating a Halloween witch character using Reillusion's new character creator for iClone 6. In the first part, we worked with the face, aged it, shaped it, and added the hair to it. Now we're going to work with the body. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's select the body, and again, we're going to have to skip some morphs. But let's go ahead, and what we're wanting to do is make a thin and old. Anything that will make thin, we'll see if we can use it. Even that, to where it's actually adding tone, still makes it look thin to some degree. Now, we'll thin out here, and body size, that particularly does some changes. Now, if we're going to do this, might as well do it right. So let's go ahead and let's go down. We're working on the bust. So let's go down to the downward slope. That'll slope the top under the curve. Now we're just drooping with all three bust tones. Like I said, we might as well make it fit the character. And all I'm doing is just drooping and flattening. That'll probably do good enough for that. So don't think, yeah, it was that right there. That'll work. We'll just keep going. Calf size, thinner, collarbone detail, yes. You can't really see it under the hair, but we definitely want that. Elbow thin. Finger length. Let's go ahead and make the fingers longer. Just take it all the way out. Not the ones under, just the first one, just the main finger length. Not finger length left and right. Leave the width alone. Let's go ahead and pull the fingernails all the way out. Now let's use fitness because it's going to add a little definition, but not much. Just keep on moving down. Looking for tones, things like that. Thickness, something that will help us make it skinny or rough. And now we're just thinning everything down. Working on the glutes. Let's see. Okay. If we're wanting skinny, maybe not quite that skinny. a little bit there there we go okay let's keep moving on down no heavy height we could make her tall and skin but let's lower down a little hip bone press that ought to yeah that'll add let's actually take it down down uh, doesn't matter on hip length, hip size, knee bones, knee tone. Again, just making everything small. Just a little in the muscular, maybe. Navel, yes. Next size, thin it out, really can't see that because of the hair. Old, this is one of our biggest ones, you betcha. Look at everything through. Keep moving on down, pecs. Get that little pot belly in there if you want, even though she is kind of caved in there. Pregnant, I'm not sure. And no, rectus is not what you're thinking. 
We're going to skip it anyway. Shin size. Shoulder scale. Just making everything a little smaller. A little thinner. All the things we don't want. It's lowering the stomach, pulling it out a little bit. Now we really got to lower them thighs. Thin. Yeah, we can use a little of it. This is what I mean by with all the other morphs I've done, I don't want to do too much. Toe length, yeah. We'll see what happens. Well, actually, we're not going to do that because we're probably going to put boots on. Voluptuous? I don't think so. Thin out that waistline. Don't you wish it was that easy? And I think we're getting there. Thin out the wrist a little. Okay. Now I think we're ready to jump on over here to the appearance editor. Launch it. As you can see, again, we've skipped a lot of sliders, and yet we've still managed to make quite a few changes. Now, this is where we're going to go in. Last time we were on the head, now we're on the body. Not really going to change, I don't think, anything so much in there. At least not right yet. But I am going to go into the normals, and we're going to age everything, make it skinny. And a little bit strong. That's body surface normals. Body hair, why not? Default. <clears throat> Again, body decal, three places to do that. Ambient occlusion. Okay. Now while we're here, we might as well go ahead and do the nails. They're still flesh colored. All the nails are controlled down here. We can just use the hue slider, saturation and darkness. Okay, we are building a real sweetheart here. I don't think I'm going to bother with makeup. Not making any statements, but I think that pretty much does it right there. Yep, I think we'll just leave that at that. Now it's time to go ahead and give her some clothes. So what we're going to do is move over to the clothes tab, the cloth template. And I want full body. And I'm going to go with dress D. Now I'm not going to change the color right away. So you can see what's happening here. We're just going to go ahead and jump right on into the appearance editor. We're going to activate it. And this is going to allow us to age it. Add holes, tearing, things like that. What I'm really wanting is just a basic black witch's dress. So we're not talking about something that's all that much. Let's go on into procedural aging. Move that slider over, you can see what it does. Now next is procedural dirt. Procedural holes. And like right there, hole and a hole. Fade strength, let's see what that is. Really can't tell from this angle. Anyway, we've got a couple of holes in it. That's good enough for right now. Okay, now as you can see, there's a lot of things we can do here. Uh, <clears throat> you have input maps, you know, your, your different normals and specularity and things like that. You also have your basic fabric where you can come in and put maps, change the density. Let's go from cotton to wool. 
and all it does is change the bump pattern. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we could come in here and do some color changes and things. But we've already seen that. So let's just click this tab over here, the material tab, and let's just do this the easy way. And we'll just put, maybe not black, let's move it up a little. And that is what we'll use for a witch's dress. Now that we've got the dress, let's jump over here and I guess we'll give her a pair of boots. There's not just a whole lot of choice there. And once again, we'll activate the appearance editor. And we'll go in and age these. And not make them look so new and shiny. And I guess you probably would wear boots. Let's see. Here we go. Procedural aging. Creases. Procedural dirt. I don't think there'll be any holes. Darken it down a little. And that'll work. So, there you have the witch character. Had a witch hat and things like that. Maybe a broom, a cauldron. You could make those pretty easily in any 3D program. Or they're probably available at the marketplace. But, as you can see, we still skipped a lot of things, so you could still make this character even more unique. I'm in iClone 6 right now. Wanted to test it out. And you'll notice that it balloons here. We've made such a character of this character that we really have pushed it to the extremes. And that's easy to correct. All that is, actually, is the collision shapes. So we'll go over here and we'll click collision shape. Uh, I'll go ahead and click, let's show all active shapes. And as you can see, there's several shapes getting in the way here that's causing this to happen. So what we have to do is like select one of these shapes. In this case, now you want to take more time than we're going to take here. I'm just going to move it over. And then as we get these things moved, and like I said, you're going to want to do it a little better than I'm doing here. I'm just going to show you basically how this works. And let's see. Probably going to have some problems with the hips too. Yeah, bye. All I'm going to do right now is just move them in instead of take the time to resize them. Because you would want to resize them. Let's see if we're getting anywhere at all. Yeah, you can tell by the way it's being shaped differently that it obviously is working. Let's find that one right there. Let's just move it out of the way. So you want to do a better job than this. But you'll see, you just manipulate these things and put them where you need them, and you'll have to hit that happy medium. You notice now how it's starting to conform to the body more, and that's because I have these collision shapes actually inside the body. So let's go over here. If you can't select it directly, use your list over here and just scale and move. And you're starting to get the idea there. You'll just want to keep that up until you hit that happy medium between it not penetrating the character and looking like you want it to look. 